Oh wow, no way! It's already destroyed! Hey there, it's King Karm again and I welcome you back to some Star Citizen. Now today I had the idea to change my F7C Hornet Wildfire into a flying shotgun by adding 6 laser scatterguns. Now join me now to see how it performs against some of the light aircrafts up to some of the biggest ships that are out yet. Join me on the adventure of the flying shotgun. And now Basically, you have a ship that is a shotgun. Let's see how it performs against some bounties. And yeah, how, how viable and how good scatterguns even are. To be quite honest, I've never really gave them a chance or tried them out. So I guess we're gonna find out. So here's our ship. And look at these scatterguns. They look really nice. It looks like some good high quality guns just in general they look like the fancy ones you know like the extra paint and everything so yeah i'm really interested how this thing is gonna perform i think we're gonna start with just an mrt before we try the hrts oh let's give it the first shoot test i'd say <laughs> that looks cool His shields are gone, that's for sure. Oh, okay, that was quick. That was really quick. Let's see this, this little thing here. Yeah, you can't even dodge it. So many bullets coming your way. I was getting shot by something. Or am I getting shot from behind? Yeah, I'm getting shot, shot from behind. <laughs> Half his ship just went. They get a shot your way as well. Oof, okay. Let's make sure I'm not too close to the explosions. Okay, now to the prowler. Oh, he's getting shot. Oh, am I getting shot? I don't even know. I don't think he's getting shot. Oh, we did hit it. There we go. Hit us part of the ship. Now it starts spinning. No, oh, I'm dead. I, yeah, I just pressed one wrong key on my keyboard and yeah, that was my bad. God damn it. Not even Star Citizen approved my flying, which is why I crashed right after dying. So I had to start fresh. Well, on the next bounty hunt, for some reason, I, it feels like I got support from the whole UEE Navy. They just kept spawning. How many planes are there? Or ships? What the hell is going on? I don't know which one to shoot at. Oh wow, look how many there are. I don't even need to do anything. That was quick. Yeah, yeah. He... Of course. Ho ho! Pilot, this scan is compulsory. You will be arrested if you do not bring your vehicle to an immediate halt. Oh wow, what is going on here? Yeah, I'm gonna hold. Don't wanna be to the prison. 
What? What did I do? Ramstad re raiding. Really? Oh, we gave him a Kramstad. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Banner Defender is just getting fucked, man. But he's still alive somehow. He's still surviving. Now, before we go and hunt the big ships, I wanted to do a very small excursion and see how effective these shotguns are against ground targets. Let's see if I'm just gonna fire towards the ground. Okay, I'm still quite far away. Yeah, ho ho ho! Okay, let's see. If we're lucky, there might be some enemies. Um, I think there's someone stand. No, 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 no. Stay in the air, please. Yes, we see enemies right there. I think we're hitting them. I think we killed one. <laughs> These two are still alive. Uh, one standing. You got some money for that one. I kill him as well. Okay, I can see it work decently against, like, just entrenched enemies, or just, like, people that are hiding on foot. As you could see, it worked decently, in South Citizen terms, against people on foot. So now, let's go and hunt some very big ships. We have a Caterpillar, we have a Starfarer, and we have another Starfarer. Getting closer. Son of a bitch. I can keep hitting the same spot. It might not even be too bad, I think. Just try keep focusing. Backside right now. I mean, the shields are down pretty quick, not gonna lie. Now it's gonna take damage. Warning. Overheating. We're overheating. Oh, he already lost something. Yeah, he lost a thruster. Lo lost another thruster. Yeah. Oh, wow! No way! It's already destroyed. No way, that was this quick? What the hell? Okay, let's let's check the Starfarer. I mean, th these are huge, strong ships, no? Or am I just wrong here? It says, well, attack the back. I don't know where he has the turrets. I've never fought against the Starfarer before, so... I don't know if he can attack me even from ups. I don't think he can. So his shields are down in the back as well. Try to focus it. Already destroyed. I mean, with the size of these ships, it's just like that all pellets are hitting. Look, it's already red. Oh, wow. Okay. That is actually crazy. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but how huge this ship is. Oh, nice, the light it just lights up. But comparison to my Hornet, my Hornet, I'm pretty far away. Like, this thing is huge. And then there's another one. Okay, there it is. Here's the turret. Oh, okay. Here's the turret on the... Yeah, here's the turret down there. So I just fly on top again so he can't hit me. I just start, just start hitting him. He's already lost the terrorists, I think. Warning. Weapon system overheating. This thing, this is insane. 
this is just insane. I mean, not gonna, this is insanity. This is insanity. Wow. Okay. I uh, really didn't expect this. And then with Carrick. Okay, that would be interesting. That is a huge ship as well. I mean, if he would be alone, that would be nice. Because he has, like, quite a few turrets. Nice, but it's not of course. Okay, Vanguard. That is doable. And a Freelancer. Easy. Okay. Uh, covering Carrick. Yeah, let's, let's try to drag the small ships away first. And then deal with the Carrick. There we go, it's already destroyed. Okay. Now to the main course. Already shooting me. Whoop! Okay. Main course it is. I don't have... Oh no, there it is. See if we can get rid of the shield in the back again. Warning. Weapon system overheating. Shields hit. Warning. Weapon okay, we're hitting we're hitting we're hitting the back. Again shield. Already red at the back again. Like damage output against big ships is insane. I don't know if it's packed. Warning. Weapon system overheating. It's already fully red. Okay, fully. Yeah, I should wait a little bit. There we go. Like, come on! It's a Carrick. It it took me longer to kill an Ang <laughs> Vanguard. Warden or something. Like, look at the size of this ship. I mean, I've stood beside it. And it's huge. I mean, it's... It's insane how quick it went down. I kind of have the feeling it's a bug. But I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have a constellation. Okay. Not too big, I mean, not a small ship, not a big ship. It's like 60 meters in length, I think. So, yeah. But he has some friends, of course. I mean, we're boring alone, right? And he has a reclaimer. Oh, that would be interesting. That thing is heavy. And a C2. <laughs> Okay, but what do we go first? I guess we go for, for the main main course first. It's the target. Like once we have the shields down, uh, it's just free food, honestly. Yeah, you can already see it's red at the back, a bit. Shields are already down. Warning. Weapon system overheating. I already lost Warning. some thrusters. Overheating. Shields. Oh, we're getting hit by another ship. Ooh, the legs are not making this easier. Warning. Weapon system overheating. As a Warning. Weapon me. system overheating. Oh, that's actually reclaimer shooting at me. Fresh into me. Yeah, I don't want to be in front of this ship. It does have quite a few strong guns. I think it has like size force. Check fire. Warning. Weapon system overheating. I mean, 
protect the... Some of the guns are not working anymore. Maybe, maybe I overheated them too much. Oh. And it's gone! Can I just see if I can fix the guns? Oh, getting hit by something. Get a little bit of air. Yeah, that was quite quick. There we go, guns are working again. Okay, where do we go f next? Uh, we have the C2. I feel like C2 is closer, yeah. Oh. Oh, but he wants to know it. Oh, they both want to know it. Okay. It's easy to... What do you have to offer? This is not a big ship. Like... And this probably has like 7 million uh, loot in it. So it's not like I can take it, but still. Like, if you can kill it this quick, imagine how much money you can make if you like... Now another Z2 is waiting after I kill this one. Like... It's insane. Hit. Never expected it to be this insane against big ships. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it has, it has a few turrets, so I have to be careful. It is hitting my shields, so... My machines are almost down. Just put the power on the shields for a second, so I can reach in. Hope it doesn't hit me, yeah. Go, going up in the shields. There we go, focus on the guns again. Let's just run havoc on them. Warning. Weapon system overheating. Warning. Weapon system. Should be down any second. It is quite tanky, but still, I mean, not gonna take much longer, I think. It's because it's fighting pretty hard. I can't hit it at the same spot. All oh, there we go. I just want to say I can't hit him at the same place all the time, but it's already down. <laughs> that is so crazy. And after reclaimer, this thing is huge. This thing is huge and strong. I tried to take one down once with like four rhinos, which are I think size four uh, laser repeaters. I stopped because I w it wasn't able for me to like kill it because the shields are so strong. Let's see how a few scatter guns do the job. None of them are size four, by the way. It's size three, two, and one. So. Yeah, I think if I'm at the bottom, uh, he can't hit me with a turret, the top turret there. If he lets me get under him. Oh, a little bit more speed here. He has a good stay in his spiral. And the shields are almost already down. Like this... I don't know how to say it, it's insane. This is a new karma build. I'm just telling you. If someone does. Oh, what the f. It's already down! This was a caterpillar! This was a caterpillar and it's a reclaimer, not a caterpillar. <laughs> it's a reclaimer and it's already down! Like. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know what to say. 
I don't know what to say. Like, this is just a new karma build, man. This, is, this thing is OP. Conclusion. Laser repeaters in PvE are a lot of fun. While it does take some time to kill heavy fighters and chips that are around that class, it does destroy light chips in seconds. And it also levels the playing field against big ships and multi-crew vessels. This is how you can take down a big ship even when you don't have any big guns or missiles. Now in PvP or specific dogfighting they are probably not that useful, since by the time you are in range you are most likely dead. But if you have to jump on them, they might actually be viable. But what I wonder now is, if you get a fleet of ships with scatter guns, could you take down the Bengal carrier when the next Invictus flight week is going on? If yes, how quick? Well, let me know what you think about the scatter guns in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Start cooling! Oh, that was. Wait, easy. Let's check on the Vanguard. <laughs> yeah, it's spinning.